We are now moving into the final game of the day. Jorosa, Toby, the mics are yours. Thank you very much, Sam. We're going to be moving into game number five of today. Match 10 overall here at PCS6 Europe. A very exciting plane path. It's going to be 8 o'clock to 2 o'clock, but mainly exciting, Toby, because Sosnovka Island beckons. <laughs> Are we actually head into military? I can't believe that we haven't. I mean, it's just one of the, we've been so used to having Millie's time after time after time. Yeah. There was, there was a qualifier stage of a previous tournament where in five out of six games, we had military games on so the rank. normalized. Goal. Maybe it's one of those now where do you realize then like, yeah, nope, melee circles removed. Not 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 even an option anymore. Because now we've had, like, we've used the entire month's quota worth of military circles in just uh, two days. So maybe that's why we're not getting there. But I would say with this plane path, it looks very southern. It certainly does. I mean, two teams dropped Millie Island, so uh, which is fair considering this plane path. Everyone seems to be relatively chilled out for this last game of the day. Who are you guys cheering for in chat? Make sure to let us know. This is the last game of the day. Of course, it's still a long tournament, but at this point, we're going to be one third of the way through. And yes, some teams have slow starts, but we're going to start reaching the point where excuses don't fly anymore and some teams are going to have to pick things up. So we'll be keeping an eye out on them. Road to Glory and Team Liquid are having a major disagreement there. And once again, using the car's floor to block Hibako earns him the kill against Nadler. But about three other cars come in over the top. I'm surprised there weren't 12 kills there just running people over. Hey, Rosen, so eager to find kills that he accidentally knocks a teammate as well. And Tropic not ready and waiting for this one. Usually you'd see it, Tropic be ready for this, but there was just so many cars coming in from everywhere that they simply couldn't react in time. In the meantime, now Liquid trying to push on up here. Footballist does the free plays in the combo. Two of them are still in cars, though not sure exactly why. Mexi finds the first one. Odin trying to see if he can do something in return. Does manage to find Bart. Mexi falls down to Medibay from a distance as well. So Liquid, it looked good for them, but they're falling by the second. Back towards Liquid we go. First comes through. Nail Cup with the hip wow. fire gets Bart as well. Perfect one, two punch. One gets the flash in there. The second one gets the push. Smart play from Footballist. They're going to be stuck on the cliff as Petulins does a... Oh, wow. Hello. That is Rocky. Is he on a boat or a car? What's going on here? And we have footballers now being aggressed on by Northern Lights. Full speed forward. They come. Odin finds one. Can't find the second. Spear able to stay alive. But fortunately, somehow Apocalypse becomes the one from down south to get the knock and the kill there. Fortunate. Able to stay put. Sakura Sansa saying, oh, free piece. Well, Northern Lights, we know we tend to do the same thing. But we'll show you now that we can do it better. And here we go, footballist. Only nail cop left. That's what's happening. What? Squeaky run over by a vehicle. Takes the rust and unfortunately there to help out. Schofield trying to stay put. Stays alive, but... Okay, now they know. Now they know, and we're talking about escape potentially pushing to Corsans, and that's exactly what happened. And this is now the 127th team to be in this compound this game by the looks of things as Sakura Zensen themselves get eliminated by Skade. So how much longer before someone like Road to Glory fancies themselves a go? So they're gonna have a chance of rotating a little bit further west instead. Gustav getting aggressed upon by the rest of Hal. Good grenade in. Gustav going into the next room and then immediately moving back to where the nade hit in case a complimentary nade comes across the other side. All makes perfect sense. I think Howl are going to become resident here next to these two Uazes, but I don't know where they go from here. Yeah, the issue is that, uh, as you can see, the staircase towards the top floor, should Howl want to make a play, is in a spot. Like, it's just exactly at the angle from which face can't really do a whole lot to defend. So if they want to, that's a pretty free flush on towards AT, unless of course, oh, oh Gustav, sorry, unless if AT has something to say, finds the first, doesn't quite get the second, and has to go back to reload half HP though, on the Howl player on the other side, Ruin, trying to stay put down in the valley below, and the mat up close, he does get the first aid off. Got AT, the stairs, go on. Does he dare, does he dare, <laughs> going up the stairs, that needs to be absolutely perfect. Oh, that would have been uh, the Billy Big Balls play, that's for sure. But no, we're playing it safe for now. Face Clan in the upper hand position here. Beautiful grenade from Fex. That knocks Ruin now as well, and it is all down to the Mad. Actually, being on the stairs there probably saved HC from getting knocked from Fex's second grenade, which finishes off Hal and allows Gustav to be revived. They know that someone is in the compound to their east, and oh, frankly, that's about it. 
I was just gonna say Delsker makes it here this now. He does finds one, finds two! Such a terrifying player to have to go up against. Up on the roof, T-Bone is perfectly positioned to try and get an off angle there as well. EB trying to make the run on forward, Gemti. But he ends up in the clutches of another team. The problem is, phase five is moving down. One minute, 20 seconds remaining. Ibi goes down to one shot effectively. Gemti now running along the outside wall to change uh, direction there as well. Apocalypse spots Ibi. That's him down. And once again, it's Gemti left. In the midst of their rotation, another card just comes into their smoke. We're like, what the hell are you doing here, Ibi? Right. So they take him out, but unfortunately, they fall themselves. Roach Glory. Well, they've still yet to make their way off the hillside. Not just, I mean, if the circles keep going in that direction, they might as well just stay. They don't have any kills yet, though, so hopefully they can find something fixed now as well. Down by it takes to the rest. It should be coming in, though. Base, plenty of space on the southern side of the circle. That nade! Just a bit too far. Skade eliminated, which means Heroic can focus on getting out of mill to power without any further distractions. Gustav, on the other hand, is providing all the distraction needed for Na'Vi right now, single-handedly nading two of them. We've got Melman and Quizzy still continuing to hold out the fort here with additional nades coming out from Thunder. This is not good for them at all. Quizzy eats another one. It's Melman now. I, I don't know what he can do here, honestly. But instead, though, it seems like they're full speed sending it into a dropping really? despite having that hillside available. Okay, that's a play I didn't see coming. I mean, again, I guess it was a downhill slant in towards and dropping regardless. So making the play may, might not be the, the worst idea, but clearly didn't work out the way that they wanted it to. Heroic now taking a lot of nades from Ants who have taken Ooh. so much damage themselves. Kurexi coming in with a beautiful game so far today. Manages to get Nookie down as well, and Ants are also struggling. If you don't revive T-Bone now, he's not getting back up. Ants now moving in. All of these teams, by the way, have so far to go to get into zone. Even if you yeah. kill the teams here, you need to figure out what the heck you do next. And face has a perfect line of sight on everything Heroic is doing from here. They need to go just one, like one piece of cover at a time, making their way on forward. Road to Glory falls in their attempt to make the transition down towards Entropic. The two players there stand strong. And as you can see here, perfect vision over towards Heroic. Literally nowhere they can go. And they still have 100 meters to the circle. There's no way Heroic gets out of here alive. Corexia is a beast. Page is a beast. But how, oh, how do they make that run? Code Marco finds Page. Correxi instantly to follow. BBL finds two. Heroic out in sixth. Two more points now for BBL. FaZe Clan starting to move in. They've got pretty much all of the southern side of the circle, remember. So they're doing very, very well for themselves at the moment. They've been holding everyone out and they effectively have control of about a third of the circle. Crucial that Gustav gets that knock to keep going down and maybe they had fallen behind them as well. It could have been FaZe falling apart, but not quite the case. Does QP get to get this risk? I would have to imagine that QP won't... Uh... Be able to do a whole lot about it face and simply not allowing him the time to get it up in the meantime not wanting to over aggress effects though with the double headshot connected and dropping out bbl and trouble as well making their way on down from here Roos and so much damage coming through but now with baseline being done with entropic they can focus their attention towards thunder double down now Oh, no pun intended there. Gustav managing to finish off Thunder Loss, which means that BBL are a single player. Only Code Barker remaining. Double will get revived. The longer this goes on, the less good it will be for Thunder. They oh, have to do something. Code is. Marco, 18 damage a second to the blue. He there cannot stay in there for long. And Diggory says, thank you very much. It's now Thunder versus FaZe. It's not even Sunday, but FaZe are looking good for this one utility coming through now thunder uh focusing on the smoke saying look we don't have the advantageous position but if we have enough smokes to make this an even fight and to be fair <laughs> they, they sure use their do. smokes well absolutely good. was that a pan getting trapped I, I, into the I smokes i think it was i think it was <laughs> love it. It, uh, it, it this is absurd ac up close pulled on down spots one ac goes up working together fex peeking on over as well mike it does find one but will he get more for just Ooh. one hp left Somehow still alive, but there, we there go. you have it. Face plan 19 kill chicken dinner to finish off the day.